I see. Yeah, so yes, we were at the AJ Francis Ngannou press conference yesterday. Uh, I have to say, mate, 500 paparazzi there. It was it was incredible. Yes, mate, it was buzzing. I'll tell you what, it was absolutely manic in there. You couldn't even walk, could you? you literally sidestepping past everyone. I must say, they did some nice food. They don't, they don't, some of these events, guys, you would have thought... You, know, oh, you get presses, get you get food. You did. We had, uh, you know, it was a chicken pie there, a, a, a little bit of tiny beef that someone called a slider in a bun that was crusty. Um, <laughs> but no, I thought, oh, oh, okay, uh, it weren't actually too bad to be honest. But yes, yeah, so let's talk about the news then. Just get straight into it. AJ versus Francis in Ghana. AJ's carried on this sort of. He looks aggressive. He looks sort of. Yeah, he looked upset, miserable. Didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he looked miserable. He did. You know what I mean? Lots of other losers just about earning himself 50 million quid. You know <laughs> yeah, I, mean? I would have been <laughs> jumping around all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. And Francis Ngannou was saying, oh, well, you know, I'm going to do exactly what I did to Fury. What did you do to Fury? He caught, you got caught him with a lucky punch. You tried a Superman punch, you lost. So, so you know, it's, it's going to be a fantastic year for boxing. It's going to be extremely, extremely, extremely busy. Extremely busy. And Listen, after after yesterday's announcement by His Excellency, he's going to be an epic showdown sometime next year. Yeah, because we, we were the first to get the news out as well, weren't we? So that means yeah. you need to be getting tuned into Fight Stock TV all the time. So we put it out there. I broke the news literally after His Excellency said it. Five seconds, I had it out there in the internet. In the ether, His Excellency wants to put on Matchroom versus Queen Free, five versus five, kind of like a like a team event, and and that was quite a shocker, really, because yeah. uh, we were already discussing as we were talking over. We weren't interested in what Eddie Earn had to say after that. We were going, who are we yeah. going to fight? Yeah. And the two names that come up, come on, we we both said it at the same time. Yeah, uh, Johnny Fisher versus Atuma, no, Moses Atuma. Moses Atuma, yeah. And you said um, Opie Price and Dennis McCann, didn't you? Yeah, yeah I did. It would, it would, oh, I thought it would be a quality, quality feedback, a quality show, and it, Listen, right, there's there's lots and lots of good quality boxers on, on both sides, Maxwell and Queensbury. It's going to be a tough pick to pick the five best up against another five best. You know what I mean? But I like to hear what everyone else has got to say, what, what they've got in mind, who, who should fight who from each camp. Yeah, guys, join in. Tell me, who do you think should fight for who? You know that that that's going to be uh, it's going to be really epic to see the five versus five, and also it's quite interesting because Oscar De La Hoya got involved last night and said, and Gareth A. Davis went on and asked His Excellency Oscar De La Hoya has actually been slating the money that Saudi Arabia has chucked into boxing right now, and he don't want nothing to do with it. His Excellency come back with a fantastic reply and said. Well, you can watch, can't you? Sit on the outside, bollocks. <laughs> I think that basically was what he said. Yeah. Kiss watch my left sidelines. testicle. Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely, definitely, definitely what he said. So, but it was it was interesting to to sort of hear uh, lots of people sort of um, talk about you know the, the, how the Saudis are, are are affecting boxing. Now let's look at the good side of it. Good side is the fights that were being struggled to be made and now seeming to be made easy. You, you've got f three fights in as many months, I think, coming up in Saudi, haven't you? It's incredible fight card after incredible fight card. Um, Listen, like we've been saying, right, how are they going to compete with the 23rd of December? I don't think they can. I mean, I'm struggling. I, I really am struggling no. to see how they compete that. I mean, unless they're talking to yeah. Canelo and unless it's going to be, you know, an all-out war, top-to-bottom world champions. That'll be next. Because, you, you you know, if you're if they're going to say, you know, we're going to be doing better than any... Each show's going to get better and better and better. That's what Frank Warren said, right? Uh, yeah. There comes a point where it can't. I mean... Yeah, they're going to run out of the elite boxers because they've, they've done it already. And where do well, they go from now? Does it all come crashing down? Well, this is it. You know what and, I mean? and, and this is the part. Is the money from Saudi Arabia actually, is it going to slow down the progression of young, hungry fighters? Yeah. Is it going to pull all the boxing out of the UK? Well, I mean, I, 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 I think that... Um, I don't think it's going to pull all the boxing out of the UK. But what I think it's going to do 
is I think that it, they, everyone's going to be wanting to chase that million dollar baby, aren't they? In a way, I'm oh, going yeah. to want that. I want to want that big amount of cash. Um, and as well as it being, because we said last night on my own, but when if you was Eddie Earn or Frank Warren, and you've been offered, you know, sixty grand, sixty million quid, just to fight over there, you take it. You'd be a mug not to. Well, yeah, of course you would. Of course you would. But look at what's happening. Let's just look, concentrate on Matchroom right now, like the next up and coming fights. There's not a lot. Matchroom's next UK show isn't until Belfast in, until February, right? Yeah. So there's nothing on the uh, on the you know UK mainland that I've seen in the coming months. Now that's unusual. You've got Johnny Fisher, George Liddard, and a load of other guys, Conor Ben, well, all going well, over fight, to America. Yeah, to say they're fighting out in Las Vegas, aren't they? Uh, yeah, like on the third of February. Uh, yeah, so. they're all they're all fighting out there. So, you know, Matchroom have got a show out there. There's another one coming up in Orlando, but nothing on the UK mainland just yet. And I know um, Frank Smith did say, you know, Matchroom got 45 shows coming up this this year. Be interesting yeah. to see what's going to happen in the UK because let's let's face it, there's already two scheduled for Saudi already, and they've got yeah. and they've got the biggest fights going. Uh, yeah, uh, and... it's arguably the biggest fights going, and like we keep saying, how are you going to compete as as British boxing on home turf going to compete with Saudi Saudi Bunny? Uh, do you know what? I, I I don't believe it can. No. I, I mean, I don't believe that you're going to be able to do that. I I, re I really really don't believe they can. And it's, it's, it's a shame. It's got a, it's an up it's a there's a good side to it and bad side to it, isn't it? The good side of it is everyone's going to be earning multi-millions, and the bad side is it's dragged it away from England, from the UK. Well, that's it. I mean, it's. It, it, I, I just think. I just hope. I mean, and and here we go again, right? So I do. No, I do. Feel, I, I do apologise, Matchroom. You do have a show at the Indigo on the tenth of February, because it's the same frigging night again that there's a show at the Copper Box for, for Queensbury. I mean, you guys are talking. You know, just sort it out. One of you do it the Friday, the other one do it the Saturday. The average boxing fan loves fighting. Right, and now they can't watch both. Uh, so one's at the Copper Box, one's at the Indigo. We're literally five miles apart on the same friggin' night. Oh, no, we have to cut ourselves into four. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> you just sit there and think, Christ, guys, come on. Well, let's get this going back to last night. And um, the big money bet, what Warren stuck on already, a million bloody quid, <laughs> best of the best. I tell you what, mate, that, that's uh, yeah, that's gonna be interesting, isn't it? And 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 how, you know? Listen, Frank, Frank must have something up his sleeve for just to say already. Right, I have a million pound bet that we beat you. <laughs> well. Yeah, what 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 can what can you do? What no what what can you do? That is going to be interesting. I'll tell you what, guys. Right, it, here's a thought. I don't know if Eddie or Frank will ever see this, but we can put it out there. Frank, Eddie, you know you got this million pound bet. How about whoever loses takes or whoever wins takes half a million quid and supports fifty local boxing clubs up and down the UK with ten grand each. Yeah. And keep the other half. That's a good me. chat. Right? Yeah. Why don't, why don't we do this? Let's, let's start that. Let's start pushing you guys for that. We post it out there first. Share it alike, people. Get Frank already. Half a million quid of winnings. Donate to 50 boxing clubs up and down the UK. 10 grand a piece. You, will, you, you know, you couldn't do any better. You know, grassroots boxing. Yeah, that's that's where it's got to be. Get it back down to the, uh, well, down to the lower tier. Getting built up, yeah, definitely, and produce more content and quality cop fighters for, for for generations to come, and you'll make more money off them. <laughs> let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's be fair. Let's be fair. So, right, let's go. I'm gonna go back. All of here, AJ saying that if he had a trilogy with Uzik under Ben Davison, he would beat him. Do you think that's right? No. Or do you think it'd still be his bogeyman? Uh, do you know what I like about 
and Alexander Usyk, right? I mean, we've met him a few times. We were very privileged to be out there in Poland against the Daniel Dubois fight. Um, we'll see what happens against Tyson Fury. I have to say that, that Usyk is probably one of the most laid-back, nicest guys in boxing. However, he's also one of the cleverest fighters that has ever graced the sport. You know, I would put this guy up there alongside the likes of Floyd Mayweather, right? Yeah. It, a two-weight world champion, and you've got the hardest two weights. You know, it's not like he can jump down, you know, he can go back down to cruiserweight, then go back down to light heavyweight, super middleweight, do, do you know what I mean? And, uh, and, and run through all of that. You can't come up and down five weight divisions, you know. It, it's just It's just not possible for him. However, nah. you're fighting some of the biggest names in boxing, some of the toughest fighters in boxing. And some of the biggest fighters And some well. of the biggest athletes. <laughs> and, and the guy's just got a way of winning. Do you know what I mean? He's just got this way about him that means he can, he can punch his way through most things. And, and yeah. that, to me, well, how, can you, how can you fight that when he's like that? Now... And Anthony Joshua, I love the guy, right? I think he'll do extremely well. I think he'll be another world champion, three-time world champion. I do believe that in the four-belt era. I, I totally believe he you will. Do you believe that? Yeah, I do believe he will. But so, I don't so... believe... I don't believe... Uh, I'll tell you why. I don't believe he would beat Usyk. Because I think Usyk's got his number. Do you think he, he wipes the floor with Tyson? I think he beats Tyson, yeah. But... I, but uh, that's that's the funny thing about boxing, right? That's the funny thing about boxing. I think Anthony Joshua will beat Tyson, okay? And I think, and the reason I believe that is not because he's better than Tyson, but I think Tyson's time has come and gone, right? I think that the I I think that they won't fight. I think that Tyson Fury is going to fight Usyk, maybe in a two fight deal. Yeah, but what what about his excellency saying he wants? The winner of AJ and Engano to fight the winner of Fury Music. Yeah, but that is for, his next fight but plan. But the only way I see this is Fury will play. I think Fury beats Usyk, right? But it's, I just you know, I used to think oh, I want to see Fury fight AJ. I want to see. It. I think the world. Listen, that fight see. should have happened five years ago. Uh, but I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking, you know what? Maybe not. Not now, but five years ago, Maybe they should not. have boxed it out five years ago. It's like, I don't want to see the AJ Wilder fight because AJ bashes him up. I've, and I've been saying that for a long yeah. time. Listen, before Wilder fought Parker at Christmas, I would have said, you know, Wilder would wipe the floor with AJ. But after that performance, I think AJ wipes the floor with Wilder. He one arm tied behind his back. Yeah, I, I mean... I've always, I've always said, and you at home can sort of sell me what you think about this. I'm gonna to have to take my glasses off. Getting serious now, right? I, I've, <laughs> I've always said when when Wilder faces top ten, he is gonna come unstuck. Right? The one trick pony has been fed tomato cans, cab drivers, one tooth bus drivers for most of his career, barring Stiverne and Ortiz, and he struggled with both. And I knew. Parker was going to do him. I, I told you Parker was going to do him. Because Parker is an ex-world champion. He ain't the mug. And yeah. I think Wilder forgot that. Right? And, and, and he did a worse mistake than Fury and Garnu. Because you know, there's, there's lots Listen, of videos. Wilder got beat him. up from round one to round 12. He did, like, savagely. I don't know, he was savage, he, he, he just... He, yeah, he, he was all over the place. The last few rounds and that, he was getting battered around it. He was. I'm surprised he didn't get knocked out. Well, so am I. He caught, you know, Parker did a few shots. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But AJ hits harder than Parker. And AJ had a battery. <clears> and, and, and that would be a, a brutal knockout. I, the only fight I would like to see Wilder fight now is I would like to see him in a redemption fight against someone like Zilly Zhang. Right? Or someone yeah, no, like I maybe... Think, I, think, I think Zhang... Absolutely knocks his block off. Yeah, but he's slow. Yeah. Right. So but Wilder see, was I, slow, though. Look at yeah, him. Yeah, but see, Wilder is a one-punch yeah, like pony. Like said, he moves, doesn't he? And he does move, right? Wilder's a one-punch pony. And 
I think that you've got to sit there and take it for what it is. So he's got a redemption fight. There's, I think there's only really two fighters out there that I think that you he's got to try and come back with. Wouldn't you put him up against the bar? Uh, well, Daniel, we know Daniel, right? Yeah. And I spoke to Daniel. Uh, Daniel will pop fight anybody who's put in front of him. Right? Yeah. That's, that's the truth of it. He, he, he will. Right? Um, and I don't know if I want to put Daniel in front of him. If I'm Frank and I say, Frank, and, and there's an opportunity comes up for me and says, listen, let me fight Daniel Dubois, right? John Tay Wilder says that. I would say, John Tay, I don't think so. Right? The, the reason yeah. I would say no, right, is I think that I would like to see Dubois face somebody else first because I don't think Big Baby Miller is big enough of a challenge. That was just no. a broken punch bag. Okay? Yeah, I listen, think that. Wilder will be a step too far, right? I think Wilder will be that step too far, just at the minute. The reason... So about the bar versus um, Zhang? Um, yeah, yeah, I could, I could see that. But we already know that uh, the bar, uh, Zhang's signed to fight Parker now. So yes. that's, that's just yeah, been released. Know. So I think that... Um, in well, perhaps my... Zhang's next fight should be against the bar. Well... <laughs> no, well, yeah. I think you've got to fight. Who are you going to set up someone like um, Zhang for? Do you know someone like Dubois for? So it, the thing is, I think Wilder is all wrong for Wilder at the moment. I don't see the Miller fight as a big, uh, as a massive, a massive test for Daniel. No, I, I, nor I did really, I. I really Listen, didn't. Miller was three hundred and thirty pounds or something when he in weight. You know, far too fat, too slow, and I don't think that done Daniel any credit. You know, he might have, he might have boxed him, but he deserved a more worthy opponent. Yeah, yeah, I think so. And if you're going to fight someone like Wilder, I think you need some fight in between. You need a you need a testing fight. I think you know Andy Ruiz is screaming to come back into the division here. Yes, listen, that's a well underrated fighter. You know, he's even been taken off the uh, off the of the rankings well i think he's got opportunity to come back so jake uh so mr cartwright boxing says do you reckon billy joe saunders will come back well there's rumors he will now we were at the last dennis mccann fight and billy joe was at the back and i turned around and i said to and i said to you didn't i max i said oh yeah billy joe saunders is behind us and he goes oh fucking hell he's put the chub on <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? that's what you said right it's like, wow. Wait a minute, uh, I thought both of us said that. No, no, just you. Trying to stick it on me. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, there'd be another traveller beating me up. <laughs> um, I do see him coming back. Do you know what? It would be a shame for boxing if he didn't. I mean, you, you know, undefeated right up until the Canelo fight. Canelo is some next level, next level guy. Um, yeah, he is a beast. He is... <laughs> Yeah, Jay Carr said, yeah, he has put some weight on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm saying, I can't say nothing. I put some tub on over the last year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he just... I, I, I would like to see Billy Joe Saunders back. I, I don't know if it's a bigger... It's a big, big mountain to climb because there was talk about him coming back in at light heavy and things like that, wasn't there? Which is obviously about two weight divisions above where he should be fighting, two or three above where he should be fighting. It's all whether he can take the weight off, really. A wonderful, wonderful character, a great fighter, worthy yeah. world champion, and only beat by one of, if not the best. The best. The be I mean? One of the best Mexican fighters in the last... 20 no, years. I think the best Mexican fighter in the world. You last think so, the years. best? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you, 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 Canelo, I know a lot about Canelo, turns pro 15 years old, winning first world championship around 20. You know, the guy's done everything. You've asked him, fighting champion after champion after champion. Duck no one, very, very similar to Floyd Mayweather. The argument well, a lot could of people be, say he has ducked a few people. But... Well, he can't, well, how can he duck a few people? He's been fighting for title after title after title. Well, well, he lost not, against not Bimble, my, not, not my words. Uh, just, here his comments I've read out. It's it's like guys, dick, it was. It was. <laughs> hey, listen, guys, you come from different, I come from a boxing background. Max comes from a street fighting background. Max wants to see the vicious and brutal knockouts. I like the sweet science. Right, and um, I like the brutal knockouts as well, but you know, we have to give fair where it's fair is due. 
And so come on then, I'll put my name in the sand. AJ. I think AJ sees him off inside of four rounds. All right, I'll tell you what. If you don't do him inside of four rounds, you owe me a lunch. No. Yeah. No, 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 if no, no, don't no, get, no. If AJ don't finish in Gardo inside four rounds, you owe me a lunch. I bought you lunch yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be, that'd be another one there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you think AJ's going to win or Angano? Come on, the folks at home, they're asking. Well, I liked AJ to win, but I, I don't know, I've got a sneak suspicion. Angano good. Right, let me tell you this, folks, right? Max here, yeah, Max the Viking, right? <laughs> he is anti British fighter. Right? Everybody <laughs> no. is completely. Anti-British fighter every single time. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. No, uh, I, that, that's it. You heard it here first, guys and girls. If, if, if AJ doesn't see off in Garnu inside of four rounds, and by the way, Max has lost every bet so far and has cost him out of fortune in lunches. But... <laughs> well, I've got a feeling that I'm going to be treated to a big fuck-off lobster meal. <laughs> <laughs> Only if you go to New York, mate. <laughs> yeah, I hope you get quite fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So once again, questions come up. Does Callum Smith come back? Okay, so Callum Smith, for those who don't know, Callum Smith he uh fought at the weekend uh to Berbatiev, Berbatiev Bev, uh, and and he lost a, a technical knockout um essentially and uh very, very humble guy in defeat, very nice guy. Um, does he come back from this? Yeah, I think he does. Um, it's going to be interesting because called Berbatiev and now going to offer the Bivol fight. So hopefully the undisputed uh, champion um, coming along there in the light heavyweight division. I mean, Mundo, I do see him coming back. Great Smith family legacy there. Uh, it, but it's all yeah, about yeah, whether definitely. they want it'd be or good, not. Yeah, definitely. It'd be good to see him at, at towards the end of the year or something. Do, do you know what? The, and this is the problem with all these belts. Because once now we're starting to see a lot of unifications happening, right? A lot of unifications happening in a lot of the weight divisions, which is great. But we're just about to see it in the heavyweight division. And this is how I know, or I think that I know, that Anthony Joshua is going to win another heavyweight title. Because what's going to happen is, is the Ingar, sorry, the Fury Usyk fight is going to determine the first undisputed heavyweight champion for over thirty years. Wonderful, the first heavyweight champion in the four belt era, as well. May I add? What is it? Saint Lennox Lewis, Saint isn't Saint it? Lennox Lewis, yeah, another British fighter. So that's it. Back the Brits. Boy, I like Lewis. Oh right, right, there's one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I like the other British geezer, Mike Tyson. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what's a knob? No, listen, you got you can't forget old legend Frank Bruno. Yeah, yeah, former WBC champion. Who did he beat? They, right, let's test your much, let's test your boxing British. knowledge. Who did yeah. Frank Bruno beat to win the WBC Heavyweight World Championship? Oh, I can't think that far back. Can't think that far back. Oliver McCall. <laughs> Oliver McCall. Yeah, who's he? He's, he's, I love Oliver mean, McCall. Who's he? <laughs> 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 some comments are yeah, coming listen, in now as I'm well. I'm not about... anti-British. Uh, yeah, you are. Listen, listen I'm com- not anti-British boxers. I do like British boxers, but there's some of them. Just, just get on my nerves. That's not what you said to me. Max's favourite say is getting on my wick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, getting on my whip. <laughs> right, so now here's a question that's come up. Someone says they don't think that Fury versus Usyk will actually happen. That's a question you put out, didn't you? And got massive response on uh, online. Yeah, yeah, I did. You know, even the contract signed, they had contract signed before, and it never happened. Who had the contract signed before? Usyk and Fury. Apparently, signed contracts, that's good, wasn't it? On the 23rd of December. Mm. Mm. Never happened. Yeah, it's go- I tell you, it is going to be interesting to see. I have to say. We have yeah, to... so it's a 50-50. But if anyone pulls out, it's going to be Fury, I think. Well, I don't it's not going to be Usyk. I don't see Usyk pulling out. I don't see Usyk pulling out at all. I have to be honest. Nah. Listen, this is a fight that Usyk is training hard for. You know what I mean? Usyk trains hard for every fight. Yeah, no, but I think he's training even harder for this. And hopefully, it's like, so I, I messaged Alex Krasik the other day 
they're going to get back in touch. So hopefully we can go to Poland or wherever it is that he's training and give him a, a, an interview. So if he's in the Ukraine, we're both going. Hey. If he's in the Ukraine, we're both going. Are you off your fucking head? Or... <laughs> well, I am Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> send me a postcard. All right. I'll send you a postcard. I'll go over there on my own. Spa with the mighty Uzik. Spa with him. Off you go. Listen, I don't think you'll be in the Ukraine. I, li I take my hat off, literally take my hat off to all of those soldiers out there that are fighting for freedom. I really, really do. And if I was given the choice, I don't think I'd be brave enough to do it. And I'm man enough to say that. Yeah. You know, yeah. for the fact is that I'm sort of six foot tall, six foot wide and easy to shoot. You don't have to even have good aim to shoot me. <laughs> I mean, you catch me with a fucking mortar shell, do you know what I mean? It's just, it's going to be, it'd be really, really easy. But, you know, I do take my hat off to those guys over there and, uh, you know, hopefully that, that terrible war will be, will be over soon. Yes, anyway, so, so. We, we're not, yeah, absolutely. We're not, we're not here for, for the political thing. We don't really do politics because, um, you know, there's a saying out there, politically correct. Listen, anything, those two words never belong in the same subject, right? If it's political, yeah. you can damn sure it ain't correct. It's as simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gits always make... Do you know what they do? I'll tell you what bugs me. I know this is a bit of a thing, right? You now, all these things, they get us all arguing amongst one another, right? About, you know, don't matter whether it's racism, wars, arguments about this, arguments about that, rich versus poor. It's to stop you looking up to look at what they were doing. Do you know what I mean? Thieving fuckers. Listen, I'm, I'm not even going to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the great stuff, the boxing, the boxing, the yeah. boxing. So, you know, it's been, it's going to be an interesting fight with the Fury, uh, sorry, with the AJ and Garnu fight. AJ now has something to go off. He can now watch the video against Fury. I think that Ngannou blows out of his arsehole after about 20 minutes. And I don't see AJ doing that. I think AJ just absolutely goes in there like a wrecking ball. And I don't. And you know what? I think Ingano ain't gonna know what's hit him. I really Listen, don't think so. Like AJ said yesterday, the man has got two arms, legs, and a leg, but he's got a different mindset, and that could be playing a big part onto AJ because AJ ain't got the big mindset. I, listen, AJ's gonna punch him up. Nah. Not as easy as what you reckoned, because you said Engano would absolutely flop against Fury, and he never, and he shocked the fucking world. Uh, yeah, but Did Fury not? didn't turn Did up. The, the Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder did not turn up. No, you can't up. go back past tense and all that. You've got to think about that night. Fury turned up and didn't wipe the floor with him like everyone thought he was going to. Yeah, but it wasn't the right Fury. It weren't, it weren't a so Fury. When, so when uh, AJ... Barely wins like Fury. You're gonna tell me AJ never turned up? No. Hey, start so. making it. Start making excuses. Not gonna make excuses. You British fighter hater. You. <laughs> you British fighter hater. You. No way. Yes way. Yes way. Anyway, I want to tell the crowd about something before we go. Right, guys and girls, we are launching the very first 24-7 Boxing TV network where you can get all the latest fights, you can watch replays, you can see documentaries, you can watch interviews, you can literally watch everything. And that is going to be some really, really exciting news. And it's all for free. Yeah, totally for free. Hours a day. 24 hours a day, for free, anywhere in the world. And you want to know where to go for it? FTTVboxing.com FTTVboxing.com At the moment, it's just all the player going around. There's two channels on there. We'll be adding three, four, five, six. We're going to be putting lots and lots of content on there for you. It's all for free. Uninterrupted. None of these stupid adverts every three seconds like you get on all the other YouTube and that nonsense. Totally, totally out there. So check it out. FTTVboxing.com and you'll be able to watch that totally for free. And uh, there's never any sign-ups or anything like that. We haven't got them planned either. But if we do have a sign-up, it's only to send you newsletters when some new content gets released. So, I'm excited about that, Max. That's uh, going to be really interesting. That gives yes, the fans what on, they want. I'm, yes, I'll be on the uh, laptop tomorrow. Downloading loads of material for it. Yeah, we'll be chucking the content your way. FTTVboxing.com, which is your 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 
boxing channel. Yeah. And it's going to have loads of boxing anything, net, net, actually, uh, network. Yeah, if there's anything on there what ain't on there, drop me a line and I'll put it on there. Max at Fighters Talk TV. Send him all the rude pictures you like. Yep, that's it. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, hate dear. all the content just blame me because everyone else does <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's got broad shoulders though he's got yeah, that face that's got it. dilly gaff written all across it does it look like I give up yeah I mean <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what guys it's it's been an exciting I'm really looking forward to a 2024 or boxing match and reckon they've got 45 shows you've got Amazon getting into it now possibly Netflix coming along with lots of shows so for the actual boxing fan there's going to be some great, great boxing year coming up. I really, really think so. And some good fighting prospects coming through with, and you know, and, and even you know, you've got the Chef Clarks of this world, Ryan Garcia's, Devin Haney, uh, you know, Bam Rodriguez after beating Sonny Edwards. Sonny got Edwards. Tio Lopez. No, I mean. Yeah, Tio Firmo Lopez. It, well, you got um coming up later on in the year. You got uh, Loma versus Cambosa. Yes. That's yeah, so, uh, in Australia. That's going to be a good fight. Yeah, we'll have to ask if we can get tickets for that. Yeah. Now, we're talking, oh. we, don't, we don't pay to get in. We just <laughs> got to get over to Australia. Yeah. So, any guys, guys, if you fancy sponsoring any of our channels or all of our channels, just like Cornbread Hemp, just up there, thank you very much, guys, then get in touch with us. Or go, you know, Once again, you can Andy at FightersTalkTV.com or Max at FightersTalkTV.com. Talk to us anywhere you like. We gladly respond to you occasionally. Um... <laughs> But it'd be great if you want to join in the show, Cam. We we take on guests all the time, and we are looking for other reporters and other people who like to make content. It'd be great to have you on board uh, here yep. at Fighters Talk TV. And uh, once again, really enjoy that new Fighters Talk TV network. It's the only twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, pure boxing content network television. FTTVBoxing.com, dot com, totally free from wherever you're sat. Um, and we're going to start pushing that out. And I, I know it's good content, guys, because I pay for it. And it costs a fortune. <laughs> so do go and watch it. Listen, we don't do this for money because it must have me <laughs> punched fast <laughs> to find out. Well, we do it for the love of fighting, love of boxing, yeah, love of that's, violence. That's, that's it. it. We do like the we do like the the odd bit of, of violence coming in. Yes. Uh, it is great. It is great. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining the show. Pal, always a pleasure. And, yes, uh, thank you. We were going to see you next on Boxing Bags. Let's do a show Sunday. So Sunday, same time, same place, 9.30 US, uh, sorry, 9.30 UK. I think that's 2.30 or 3.30 or whatever the times were displayed before. And uh, we'll love to see you there. Don't forget, check us out Sunday. Don't forget, check out the Boxing Network, fttvboxing.com. And also, why don't you download our app? You can get there, just click just down there in the corner um, you can download our app you can watch previous boxing content and vote on who you thought really won different fights once again thank you very much from Andy the Nightmare Reed and Max the Viking Page we will see you on Sunday bye <laughs>